You know, he's the most famous movie star of all time. He's never been paid. He could be at least several hundred feet tall. Doesn't belong to the studio system. But for the last 90 years, he's brought filmmakers, film goers, and film lovers together in unison. There's only one King Kong. Now, 2023 marks the 90th anniversary of what I consider the greatest horror movie of all time. Now, King Kong is a 1923 American pre-code adventure horror monster film. And that's what it is. It has horror. It has adventure. It has romance. It has Kong. It was directed and produced by the great Marion C. Cooper and Ernest B. Schoedsack with special effects by Willis O'Brien, H. O'Brien, which influenced the industry for decades. Is it the best uh, movie of the 1930s? Well, pretty close. Only Gone with the Wind and Wizard of Oz compares. Produced and distributed by RKO is the first film in the King Kong franchise. The film stars Canadian uh, ingenue Faye Ray, Robert Armstrong, and uh, Bruce Cabot. In the film, a giant Abe dubbed Kong captured from Skull Island attempts to possess a beautiful young woman. Well, everybody knows the plot, and the plot is intense. And uh, now... When it opened on March 2nd, 33 in New York City, the rave reviews has since been ranked by Rotten Tomatoes as the greatest horror film of all time based on critics and the 56th greatest film of all time. I would at least put a top 20. In 91, it was deemed culturally, historically, and aesthetically significant by the Library of Congress and selected for preservation in the National Film Registry. A sequel titled Son of Kong was fast-tracked and released the same year with uh, several more films made in the following decades, including a pair of remakes that were uh, made in 76, uh, the infamous Jessica Lange, Dina De Laurentiis movie with uh, Jeff Bridges, and uh, also 2005 uh, with uh, a whole new cast. It also had a reboot in 2017. Now, the basic plot is, is very simple. There's a promoter that wants to make a movie with a beautiful woman with outdoor scenes, and he finds out about Kong, and he tries to track Kong down, Kong down to make him part of his, you know, enterprise. And let me tell you something: Kong's special effects in this, and his battles with the different uh, what they call prehistoric animals that are there, is just tremendous. The whole movie is a thrill a minute, even though we know it's uh, you know amateur special effects. It does work. Now the stop motion animation is perfect. The Sydney is perfect. The scenes of, uh, you know, trepidation for Faye Ray. Now, there were some uh, scenes in the movie were considered risque for the time, including King Kong or rubbing at Faye Ray's lower uh, parts. But like I said, it just such a such a great movie. Now, people have heard of King Kong. There's not probably one person who doesn't know what King Kong is. They may have not seen the movie. I first saw it at uh, something called Midday Matinee, which was a two-part uh, movie series on the old ATV in the Maritimes. Now, what I like about King Kong, no matter when you go back to it, you always see something that reminds you of your childhood and uh, harkens to the action movies later on. You look at Indiana Jones, you look at Star Wars, you look at Star Trek. You, you look at the Marvel and DC movies. The old all owe millions and millions and millions of dollars because they start the audience for this type of movie. Now, very rarely it was shown as a kiddie movie. This was a, a, a movie for all ages and dangerous like you wouldn't believe because you're going up against nature, the big battle of humans against nature. In this case, Kong is the big winner because despite all the trials and tribulations he's put through, uh, is even used as a plot point in, get this, in Glorious Bastard. Believe that. That was pretty bizarre. I never saw that coming. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you have a chance, if you get the ultimate collection of uh, King Kong, I think it's on Blu-ray. There's a whole bunch of documentaries on the actors and creators, and Faye Ray has given a lot of interviews through, through the years. I consider her one of the greatest Canadian actresses of all time. Very underrated. So, what you're going to do this weekend, check your local listings, uh, all of 2023, they're showing King Kong either afternoon matinees on in Canada, CHCH, late night on NTV. It's well worth, if you haven't watched it in a number of years, the special effects, again, just tremendous. And as we like to say, there is no king but Kong. He's so popular and so so desired as, as a leading man. I'm telling you, tremendous. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's our Vintage Podcast for today. Let us know what we're doing with a like, comment, subscribe, or share.